Hey, welcome back. It's me, Tori, and today I'm going to be bringing to you my September favorites. Um, so I don't really have too many. I didn't really get a chance to really play around with many new products or anything. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so first up is quite a few of those NYX products that I did in my really big like fall for haul or haul for fall sorry video which was my first video um so right now i have one of them on which is the nyx liquid suede in um soft spoken and i love this way more than i ever thought i would it was more of a brown color to it than i expected of it but as it dried i just somehow fell more and more in love with it and it's just so pretty and it's not like uncomfortable to wear it's like not too drying or anything it's it's great i definitely recommend like just the liquid suede line it's my only color but i'm i'm definitely gonna look into the other colors because there's a uh, like a more peachy color that i'm really interested in getting and then like a really nice red color that i want to get as well and so the next one is the um soft matte lip cream in copenhagen which is the most perfect color for fall of life it's just gorgeous it's kind of self-explanatory also they smell like cake batter like it smells so good and last from the NYX products is that uh, full throttle daring damp sole palette which is just the perfect quad of colors for fall it's just got everything you need in there I love it um, so definitely recommend perfect colors for fall and I just love how they feel how well they blend out it's a really really great palette this is why having dogs is is sometimes a curse and not so much a blessing I love them but it's all they do all day park all right okay and speaking of eyeshadow palettes I finally picked up the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and this is like heaven I have been obsessed from the moment that I got it. I love this like quadrant of colors right here. This is like right up my alley. I love warm, I love gold colors. I love like the peachy gold colors and I, it's just amazing. Oh look, oh hi, hi me, Inception. Um, so I definitely recommend um, picking up this palette. It's gonna be a staple, I feel like in, in my everyday looks and it's just amazing. Also, I'll just never get over how great these smell because they smell just like chocolate. It's amazing. Also, this mirror, fantastic. So, um, I love this. I've been wearing it a lot most of the time when I pick up eyeshadows to do my makeup. It's coming out of this palette. So, next, I have some of products to share with y'all. Um, I just did a little splurge on their website. Um, and I picked up the Illuminating Palette and the Blush Palette in Dark. Uh, so I'm going to open these up so that you can see what they look like. Now they do have a lighter, like an original blush palette. Um, and then in the illuminating palette they just have, you know, one set of shades. But they do have two shades that would look really great on fair skin and two shades that would look really great if you're darker skinned. And I'm biracial baby so I have a really in between kind of skin tone I would, I, I would guess to say. And I have tried out all four of them, and I really like how they look. They're, these aren't too light. These aren't too dark. Um, and they feel really buttery to the touch, and they're really pigmented as well. So definitely recommend. And then for the blush palette, uh, so in dark, these are going to be perfect for anybody who has a medium to dark skin tone. And it's like three kind of matte shades, and then you have this one really sparkly one. I'm a little kind of afraid to go for. I've been really obsessed with the darkest one lately because it's the fall and I really like the color it puts on my cheeks. Today um, I mixed the pink one and the darker one um, together and I, you, I think it's already, let me see. Yeah, no, you can still see it a little bit. And I really liked the combination um, that I got out of it. It was really pretty. It wasn't too pinky and it wasn't too dark. It was like a nice really in-between shade. Um, but both of these were six dollars each and you get a nice variety of colors. These are like perfect if you're traveling. Like I went out of town for a couple of days uh, about two weeks ago and I took both of these with me 
um, just so I had a nice um, variety of colors to work with and I didn't have to take like four or five different products so highly recommend all right I have two drugstore products one is the wet and wild mega impact mascara and I actually picked this up over the summer and I use this um, with my uh, Tarte, um, my Tarte mascara most of the time. It's got a nice big fluffy brush and it also curves a little bit which is nice so it really gets under your lashes and picks them up. And you know I have nothing but good things to say about this. This was like a three or four dollar mascara and it gives me a lot of volume and a lot of length and I just did not expect that out of like a wet and wild four dollar mascara but it is amazing the first day I put this on I was like holy crap like this is fantastic I love this recommend this and the other drugstore product is the uh, flower brand makeup which you can get at Walmart and this is their high shine lip lacquer in autumn rose um, it's so pretty it's like your most perfect um what is this color like mauve but also kind of terracotta fall color and i wore this in my special unboxing of the phantom of the month club and just like oh, it's so pretty and it kind of matches my natural lip color as well so it just kind of heightens it and gives it a really nice shine it's really pretty i think this was also about four or five dollars it might have been seven but i don't think so you know it was on the lower side um i picked this up actually off of recommendation of you guessed it kathleen lights like she had different colors and she had like really bright colors for the summer um but she was definitely like go for the high shine lip black eyes they're amazing and i think they're like five or six different colors there and i got like a coral color it was way too orange for my liking but then i got this one as well which as soon as i put on i absolutely adore it. It's gorgeous. Recommend. Alright, so I have two more products left for you guys. That's a lie. I have four more products. Two more makeup products now. I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and number 10, Be My Highlight. Um, I talked about this in my haul and the just beautiful champagne gold color has just been a staple for me so far and I, it's just the highlighted that I go to pick up the majority of the time. It goes with... Um, a lot of my like warmer looks that I try to go for um, so it's just amazing I love this and again it was like five dollars you can pick it up at Ulta if it's not there I, I got it online um, highly recommend that's all I can say it's just a gorgeous 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 highlighter and the last uh, makeup related product is the um, Tarte Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Wipes and it's this cute little, I think it's like a more of like a sampling one. I don't know, you get 30 wipes, so maybe it's a full size one, but it's just like the cutest little packaging. But anyway, they're like, they're not for your full face, obviously they say fresh eyes, but they're also, I just think, I wasn't sure if they were gonna be like a regular size wipe or they're smaller. They are a bit smaller, but um, I use these uh, very recently to, oh, they smell so good. Just to get off, um, mascara because when I take off my makeup even not using a waterproof mascara it is just so hard for me to get all of it off and then a lot of the times my eyes start to hurt because some of the other wipes I have they are gentle at first and then they start irritating my eyes a little bit now these are my eyes for like five minutes and they didn't burn or anything and it took everything off and I was so amazed and I just haven't found a makeup remover that hasn't bugged my eyes. So there's this one. And then when I got my RCMA No Color Powder from Beautylish, they sent me samples of like the Bioderma Micellar Water. That was also fantastic. And that also didn't irritate my eyes. So I have really, really sensitive eyes. And if you have sensitive eyes as well, I definitely recommend the Bioderma Micellar Water or the Tarte. Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Maker Remover Wipes. These are phenomenal. And lastly, I have two candles to talk to y'all about. They are both 
from Bath and Body Works and they're from the fall line. So the first one um, is talked about by a lot of people and it's leaves. And I just got like a small one. This is six ounces, but it burns really well. And I still have quite a lot left and I've burned it quite a lot actually. I left it burning for several hours one night and it only like burned like maybe an inch of it away. And it's just like, I feel like at one point in my life I had smelled leaves before and I wasn't the biggest fan, but I actually really enjoy it now. It has notes of crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. And I believe I am really loving the spice of it, the clover spice. I don't know, it just smells of everything that you would wish autumn to smell like. Mmm, so good. And then the other candle is crisp morning air and this just smells so different but so so good it smells like a men's cologne and i think that's why i like it so much like a really fresh men's cologne and it smells so good and i burn it with another candle which is mahogany teakwood which is one of the like white barn candles that is sold through bath and bodies as well and this has fragrance notes of crisp fall breeze, white oak, golden amber wood, saffron, and soft sandalwood. So if you're looking for amazing but also different fall scents so that way you don't get really tired of smelling the same thing over and over again, I definitely recommend leaves and crisp morning air because this is great. I'm, I'm definitely going back to pick up a full size candle of this like as soon as I can because it is so 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 good. I was just placed an order with my mom on the Bath and Body website and I wanted to get it in the um, the Wallflower refills. Um, I couldn't find it, but if you know that I can get that on the website or they have that scent in Wallflower, like please let me know because I need that in my life as well. Like I just, I want to buy a bunch of these so that I can have this all year round. It's so good. Right, so that completes this video. Those are everything that <laughs> that was everything that I was loving this September. Um, I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what some of your September favorites were this month. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.